Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Doing a quick little video today. I had a late day, so I don't have much time in the shop. So I'm taking a closer look at the tail stock we're going to put on these 16-inch reprinters. I got a lot of good suggestions from you guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate every comment I get. And, you know, you know, when it comes to doing stuff like this, I'm all ears for any uh, suggestions or opinions on it. So first thing I wanted to see... Now, I know that's not a lot, you know, a center in the headstock, but for what we're doing today, this is this is good enough. I want to see if I can get the lathe, how much adjustment there is in the screw right here. You see, we're off a bit, well, more than a bit for, for what we're shooting for here. So let me get the wrench on there. see I'm just one-handed sorry we are moving looking good looking good and look at that half the job is done <laughs> so yeah there's plenty of movement I went past it a bit and that adjustment there to dial us in that way. Now obviously that doesn't do us a lot of good. We're ballpark three quarters of an inch high. So what I'm thinking and I gotta take this off and flip it over. recutting the V. I had a really good comment. I don't remember who it was from. I'm sorry. I should have looked before. Because this wiggles a bit in here. I'm putting a gib in there to take up that. And that's an awesome idea. And I may, I'll have to do that if I trim this area instead. But I'm going to take this off here in just a second. See how much meat is right there and right here. I mean, it's flat side, obviously. You know, this wouldn't be no big deal. But we got to, as high as we're going, we'll be cutting an entirely new V. Because that V is super accurate again. We're just roughing everything. Yeah, we'll be into new material. So... Let me pull this guy off the machine and lay it on the floor and let's take a look at the underside. I'll bring you back. Okay. So from looking at the bottom of this, I am very encouraged. This is all, the sides are all solid. Straight back to the top of the plate. Same here. You can feel in there, they're all solid. So, it shouldn't be a problem. It does taper in just a little bit. That'd be the only thing, but we can move, we can kind of uh, go more this way. There's plenty of thickness here, because the flat spot just has to sit on the flat spot. We have to get the V way in its place. We don't want it too thin on the outside. So yeah, very good. I think what I will do is in the next segment of this, I'm going to pull all the uh, top part off. And we see we won't be in any of the mechanism. So we'll be pretty, pretty clear there. And I think we'll mount this on the shaper and take a couple passes and see how we're doing. Very encouraging. Of course, the only thing I'm worried about is we're going to go up a bit. We're a lot thicker on this side of the V flange in the back so as we go up because this is slightly tapered we're going to lose some outside dimension so i'd rather shift it you know a little bit this way because we have plenty of bearing surface here you know make sure we we hit that yeah because it just gets thicker and thicker going up here 
so yeah that's the plan very cool very uh, very encouraging very I, i'm very optimistic now so okay that's today's quick little video this is adam from small town machine shop please comment like and subscribe and thanks for watching